Hey traders, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over the weekly watch list for the S&P 500 for December 11th, 2022. The year is almost over. And is the Fed going to raise this week? And if they do, by how much? Is it going to be 25, 50, 75 basis points? We will have to see. But before we uh, jump into this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, and let's kind of jump right into it. So last week, um, I actually thought we were going to go higher. I was dead wrong. I will uh, kind of walk away, lick my wounds and all that. Um, I thought the market was actually going to rally. I thought we may break up above here. Um, this uh, major trend line. And guess what? We did not. Um, and we've just kind of been down this entire week. Um, but I've also said, I think we're going to close maybe around this 4,200 by the end of the year. Hey, we'll see um, what happens, right? Also, is the Fed going to raise this week? Um, the Fed has a uh, rate hike decision on Wednesday, uh, November... Uh, or sorry, uh, December 14th, I believe it, I think it is. But um, it's going to be Wednesday and we're going to see. I think they're going to probably, believe it or not, I think they're going to do 50 basis points. I don't think they're going to do 75. Um, so I think the market kind of already knows that. Uh, but do they sell the market off into the end of the year? Does it rally? Well, let's look at the charts and see what the charts tell us right now. So currently, we do have a ascending or a descending triangle right here. Okay, we also have a head and shoulders, shoulder, head, shoulder. So it's going to be interesting to see if we break down from this pattern, go lower, or does it just kind of fake everybody out, reverse, and then march uh, higher. Remember, this is options expiration uh, on Friday coming into this week. But um, if I had to say one thing, I think if we close below, okay, this uh, 50 period line, which is the white line, if we actually have a close below it, I think we're going lower and probably down to this 3825 uh, level, which is the value area low from this entire market profile. So uh, we will see. RSI kind of just looks like it wants to go lower. So multiple things going on. Um, looks a little bearish, but again, lots of news uh, coming out uh, next week. So just something to be aware of. But real quick, if you want to help support my channel, get some trading education, and also get weekly S&P E-mini trade zone levels, support, and resistance, then you need to sign up with my $99 lifetime subscription, one-time payment of the S&P weekly trade zones, where you will get support and resistance levels, any open gaps, and VPOX, and you will also get a seven hour video course of my top five trading strategies that I go over that I use on a daily basis. Also, as a bonus, you will get over 30 free Thinkorswim custom indicators and charts, and you will get on a weekly basis every weekend Thinkorswim share chart uh, so you can upload the drawings directly to your charts. If you use another uh, brokerage firm, here are all the levels that you'll be able to draw your own levels on. So make sure you check out daytradingfearless.com to sign up or the link down below. Again, $99, but back to the video. Okay, with that being said, let's take a look at the NQ. Uh, NQ kind of hit this uh, trend line, right? Same thing, one, two, three, kind of came up short a little bit, rolled over, same pattern, right? We have a uh, shoulder, head, shoulder, uh, tech looks weak. Um, but again, 
this is a, uh, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be hard probably the next two weeks um, to call any major direction just because of what's going on with the Fed and also end of year. There is end of year tax selling right now. So people who are trying to tax harvest or get rid of their bad positions to offset uh, their winners throughout the year, um, um, that may be the selling pressure. Lots of things going on. Um, let's take a look at crude oil, CL, um, broke down, making lower highs, lower lows. Uh, we did get down to the 70 level. I said, watch the 70 level. The reason being is because, uh, the U S government has to fill up the S PR, right? And they said there'll be a buyer around 70 to 72 bucks a barrel. Well, guess what? We're here. So they're probably buying up uh, oil to refill the thing. So I would say maybe watch for a bounce back up. I think maybe we trade within this range uh, this coming week, somewhere around here, kind of fill this in, clean up this market profile, uh, high volume node going on right here. So we will see what happens there. Uh, Bitcoin, last week I said I did not like it. I still don't like it. Um, tried to break out, couldn't break out of this um, downward uh, wedge. Um, I still think uh, Bitcoin has a ways to go lower. Um, again, you guys know I've been calling for about 11,000 this entire year. So we will see if Bitcoin could work its way lower. Um, so, and remember, that may be a nice buying opportunity. Now, this is Trey Advice, just I'm some dude on YouTube making videos of my opinion. Um, let's take a look at gold. I've been bullish gold uh, last couple weeks. We do have a potential double top, short-term double top, right? Uh, actually, higher high, right? But divergent on the RSI. So maybe watch for a potential rollover, just a pullback, right, of this entire trade. Um, we've been making higher highs higher lows, maybe we get a pullback. Um, I would just watch the reverse waterfall, anything, a break below, watch for the downtrend. Silver, SLV, uh, same exact thing going on here, potential divergence, uh, but you we need that break uh, lower before. Let's clean up a couple things on this chart. Um, but uh, I think, um, like I said, Something going on weird with gold and silver um, right now. So um, as it's rallying, the market's selling off, um, which is kind of weird because inflation's also going lower. So we will see. Apple um, stuck in the mud um, right here. But does Apple weigh? Uh, do we roll over, go lower? Uh, maybe. Let's take a look at Tesla. Um, yeah, and like I said, if Apple goes, so does uh, the market probably. So keep an eye on Apple if they come out with any news. Um, but they may chop around. Uh, looking at Tesla, uh, interesting. We're down at like 160. Um, I wonder if uh, this rolls over and we just continue making lower highs, lower lows. So uh, we will see. Um, we could see this trend start way back here. High, low, lower high, sorry, lower high, lower, a low, oh, sorry, a high, <laughs> um, a high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? Now we do have a higher low with a waterfall break to the upside. We will see if that rolls over. But um, hopefully uh, that helps, guys. Be careful out there. Um, and as always, thank you for watching my videos, and we'll talk to you soon.